Okay, now let's say if we want to use a thermocouple, how to measure temperature using a thermocouple. Okay, firstly, a thermocouple is built with so-called using the conductor of two different type of uh, material. Then, you know, one end of it is put in, they say, um, a temperature, a freezing point temperature, for example, they say this is ice, put into the ice. And then uh, this this part of they say another another point is put into steam. Okay, so I in short I put it this is zero degree C and then this is hundred degree C. Okay, then we connect it to a voltmeter for example that will measure the EMF generated. Okay, they say now that when the temperature difference is 100 degree C, if my voltmeter shows this uh, a reading of certain millivolt. Okay, for example, this one it shows for 10.0 millivolt. They say. Okay, the principle of thermocouple is um, it works this way: the EMF generated. Uh, by the thermocouple is actually linear, linearly related to the change in temperature. Okay, now you see there's a change in temperature in or, uh, the temperature difference rather. Okay, I repeat, the EMF generated is linearly related to the temperature difference in the two uh, junctions of the thermocouple. Okay, now uh, let's look at the uh, how this uh, firstly it is being calibrated. Okay. Okay, now um, the symbol that we represent uh, to express that um, EMF is linearly related to the change or difference in the temperature is in this symbol. You see that this is a ribbon sign, means linearly related. It's the relationship is EMF is linearly related to change in temperature or temperature difference. Okay. In this context, my EMF is 10.0 millivolt. Then it's linearly related to the difference in temperature between the two junctions. One's 100, the other one is 0. So I will use 100 minus 0 degree C here to, uh, to represent uh, this relationship. Okay, how is it going to use so-called to predict or to measure if I have a substance replace this hot junction here a substance of 300 degrees Celsius okay replace okay, I replace it to 300 so using the same principle I'm going to rewrite this equation right so the EMF generated is linearly related to the change in the temperature now it's 300 and zero degree C. So I write in this form. Okay. Now you look back on the first equation here. 10 mini volt generated is due to the change in temperature of 500 and zero. So now I have a EMF here. I don't know how many mini volts that, but I know that it's linearly related to change of the temperature between 300 to zero degree C. So I have a second equation being established. And now, this is using a bit of a math skill, I get equation two divided by equation one. So then I establish this third equation here. So by simple math manipulation, I'm able to calculate that the EMF generated by the thermocouple will be 30.0 mini volts when I have I put one substance of 300 degree C at one junction of the thermocouple and one at the zero degree uh, Celsius. This is how uh, a thermocouple works.